Uh, it's a few days later and whenever I've had some free time I come in here and cut a few more teeth and I've got one cut all the way around so the bottom edge of all the teeth are cut. Then inspecting with, by eye I uh, marked with you know a blue marker any teeth that are a little fatter than they should be because you know there's not much variation but when you've got two teeth that are supposed to be exactly the same next to each other it's pretty easy to tell if one's bigger. Uh, so then I went in and just trimmed anywhere I I drew with a marker. And I only trimmed this, doing that cut, when there was a small one on this side and a fat one on this side. When there's a small one on this side and a fat one on this side, I'll fix that cutting the other direction when I'm cutting the, the top edge of the teeth using the bottom ed edge of the cutter. I have to figure out how to line up the cutter to cut the bottom edge of the slot. Um, well, first, I moved the cutter up, you know, the, a tooth thickness, so that now the bottom edge of the cutter is aiming straight at the center. And I'll have to, you know, just kind of graze each tooth. And one way I can cut a consistent amount off is if I, uh, so I back the thing out till the cutter's just barely touching it and I rest the cutter in the groove and that means it'd be resting at the end of the tooth which is further up than the bottom so that when I actually go to cut it'll cut down um, so maybe I'll just do that because it looks like about the right amount and if there's a tooth I need to cut more off of I'll just you know make the adjustment by eye or less you know I'll just kind of fudge it in the right direction this is very inspiring to make a like a table thing like this with a screw where I can, you know, control the exact rotation very well. It's kind of nice to do things by hand the first time because like now I have a really good idea of exactly the kind of thing I would want to, to control the rotation. You know, for the most part, these did come out very consistent with. All right. I just tip this up so it's just touching. Watching it cut, I can tell it only got about halfway down the tooth before it came off. I was being conservative on that one, so I'm going to cut a tiny bit more, make sure I get all the way down the tooth. Just realized I should also put a mark at the first one I do so I don't get all the way around and not notice. This is probably going to be a little hard to see on the camera, but now you can see this tooth here is skinnier than the other ones. They just took off the top edge. And then this slot is slightly fatter than those ones. So that's about the right tooth size. Oh. I'm all the way back to the beginning. That did not take nearly as long as the first one. I just kind of did it all at once right now. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go through and, you know, kind of spot check. I think there's a few teeth I want to trim a little bit off of. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Of course, I still have to get off all this fuzz. Oh, yes! It's a little bit clicky. Not perfectly smooth. But for eyeballing the uh, spacing, that is pretty good. Not skipping any teeth.
I did make this gear slightly smaller than it's you know supposed to be because I know there's going to be a little bit of variation in the spacing of the teeth since I you know hand drew them and if two teeth were, were too wide on this gear and this one's pushing on it it could you know climb up on top and then it would lose grip but if this is slightly too small then uh, you know the next tooth won't be pushed by the next tooth here but this will just turn and it'll it'll catch up and the teeth will never come out of their grooves I do think I want to trim these a tiny bit just take a sliver off so to do the two different gears I left my whole setup here in the same spot this gear bolted right there so I could cut the teeth that way and then I took that one off and put this one here and cut the teeth that way and that way the angle of this to that was 90 degrees so they actually come out 90 degrees yeah that's totally usable like that just want to smooth it out a little bit by shaving these I shaved a little bit off all these teeth and this is running pretty smooth now much less noisy than before still not perfect but close now the question is can I pedal this gear and drive this one with my leg power and not strip them I guess I'm gonna find out pretty soon if uh, if I shred this gear I can replace it pretty easily because it uses so little material and it doesn't take long to make this one I don't want to replace um, <clears throat> I will have a chance to you know retool this one if I happen to shred these gear teeth I could cut them all off and there's still enough material there I could cut new teeth in if I do that though I'm gonna build some mechanical thing where I can control the rotation when it's on the milling machine really precisely so I can get these teeth lined up you know as exact as possible they're pretty good right now but I can see every once in a while there's a tooth that's a little bit fatter or there's a slot that's a little like just a little bit off still definitely usable I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky and this will totally pass the test. Overall, I'm super happy with this as a first uh, milling machine test. I did use a mill once years ago, one time. So this is the first time I really made anything on one. And I haven't even gotten into like really calculating, you know, angles of things and where they should be and, you know, getting real precise. Oh, so much improvement to be had here. Wow, that is pretty strong. It doesn't feel like those teeth are going to break at all.